Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about factor affecting on higher frequency. Means today's lecture is only and only focused on factor affecting on higher frequency. See, these are the normal base value for carbonyl group C double bond O stretching vibrations which we normally observed without any interference or any factor affecting on that. So these are the normal basic values which we observe without any change. So the basic value for amide carbonyl is 16900, uh, 1690. Carboxylic acid is 1710, ketone 17150. So these are the values which you will find in each and every reference book if you see. Okay, now if we take the IR spectra of some compound, if suppose ester is present, you can see for ester the frequency should be 1735. But it varies from that. It may come around 1720 also. It may come around other place also. So why these frequencies are going to change? This is our focus area for today. As we learned the calculation of IR frequency in our previous lecture, previous one and not exactly previous, but before some lecture we explained about the calculation of IR frequency, which video is available in my YouTube channel. Okay, So you can go through that in IR spectroscopy playlist. Now the formula for Hooke's law mu equal to 1 by 2 pi c root of k upon mu. You can see mu is the sign for frequency, unit is centimeter inverse, c is velocity of light, the value will be 3 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter per second and the k will be force constant. The unit will be dimes per centimeter and mu is the mass of atoms which are participating in the bond. So actually you have to assume that you have two atoms like two walls and they are connected with a spring which are connected by a spring and the spring is moving towards it to each other and going far away suppose these are two balls and the spring is here which connecting it okay so they may come nearer to each other or they may go far to each other Okay, so on axis they can move and due to that some changes may occur or the frequency which are coming to that will show you some frequency. So this is about hook law. So why we discuss here because the many of reasons are depending on this hook's law. So we are going to see one by one. Yes, the stretching vibration <coughs> of the sp3 hybridized CH bond. See, as I told you uh, the, in our previous video, we learned about the molecular vibrations. The in molecular vibration, the main two class are there. One stretching asymmetric vibration, another symmetric stretching vibrations, right? Now for asymmetric vibrations, asymmetric stretching vibrations, we have to focus whenever you write any frequency or you identify frequency from the graph, the methyl frequency of asymmetric stretching must be, must be more than methylene group. Means here you can see 2962 while the methylene is 2962. Okay, so always methyl stretching asymmetric frequency is higher than methylene and methylene is always higher than methane. That is always higher than methane. So this difference must be kept when you are interpreting the IR spectra. Okay. And same way it also applied to the symmetric stretching vibrations also. The methyl group shows you 2872. Methylene will show you 2853. And the very weak will be for methane. Right. So the concept is what? The methyl symmetric or asymmetric stretching frequency must be higher than the methylene and the methylene and the methylene frequency must be higher to the methane. 
so this is the basic concept you have to maintain when you are interpreting the spectra now the first factor we are going to learn today that is bone strength so how the bone strength is affecting on the frequency or this case is also related to the hybridization of the molecule right so the bone strength is directly proportional to the force constant force constant in hooke's law that is k you can see k is force constant and the value of force constant always varies with the single bond double bond and triple bond that we already learned in the calculation of ir frequency right so bond strength is directly proportional to force constant it means if the bond strength increases the force constant will definitely increase and with increasing the bond strength we will get the higher frequency of infrared why why because the key reasons you can see this is ethene this is ethene and this is ethene right now if we see in ethene there are two atoms one is carbon one is hydrogen right it means the proportion the proportion of contribution of both atom is same so we can consider the s character up to 50% up to 50% in ethene the s character will be ch2 means the total three atom divided by 100 you will uh, 100 divided by 3 you will get 33.3 so the s character will be here comparatively less than the ethene and same way if you go for ethene the s character will be 1/4 of 100 means 25 so the s character <coughs> here decrease so it means what if you see the s character increase s character in hybridization increase the frequency will definitely increase due to the bond strength due to the bond strength when you people are going to appear for net examination slate examination gset gpsc etc any competitive exam chemistry related if you are going to appear you will find some question in that you have to take the key point like if s character increase s character increase the bond strength will increase and you will get the increase in your infrared frequencies okay so hybridization is metering for the frequency bond strength is metering for the frequency now bond length if you have double bond if you have single bond and if you have triple bond definitely the bond length will change if there is a single bond little bit more bond length will be available if double bond then the bond length will be little bit lower if you have triple bond then bond length will be comparative higher comparative high uh, sorry lower means uh, shorten the bond length agar bond hai wo mazboot hoga to uski jo length hai wo kam ho jayegi agar bond thoda sa weak hoga to aapka bond lamba ho jayega right so this is the basic concept now next bond strength you can see here i wrote the bond strength in terms of kilo calorie kilo calorie for for the ethene the bond strength is 121 kilo calorie for ethene 106 for ethene 101 if you refer some reference book you may get the values different from this one because i utilize the unit kilo calorie in some reference book you may find this value around 400 to 500 in range of 400 to 500 that is nothing but the unit will be kilo joule here i utilize kilo calorie it may be in other books it may be also like kilo joule also so that is nothing but conversion of kilo calorie in the joules right so the bond strength is higher always frequency we will get higher how you can see with the uh, increase in the bond strength the frequency is going to increase like ethene is 2900 
ethene is 3100 and ethyne is 3300. So comparatively with increase in the bond strength, the frequency is increasing, right? So you have to remember, you have to memorize it. Next, relative mass of atom. Relative mass of atom. According to Hooke's law, if the mass of atom increases, the frequency will decrease. The frequency will decrease, right? The carbon atom we considered as a standard right now, and we are keeping the carbon same and changing the other atom. At this point, the hydrogen possess molecular mass, sorry, <coughs> molecular mass one. Oxygen possess 16, chlorine possess 35.5, bromine molecular mass around 80, 79.9, iodine 126 point something means if you go to this to this to this side, the atomic mass increases, atomic mass increases. But if you check the infrared frequency with increase in the molecular mass, the frequency get frequency get decrease. With increase in mass, the frequency will decrease, right? So you have to keep in mind, if you are taking a higher molecular mass, you will get the less frequencies for that. Okay, the next point, bond angle. See, bond angle is mattering, why? Because we are going to see by examples, ring size effect with internal, internal means endo double bond, inside. Endo means inside, in the ring not outside the ring, but it is in the ring, right? Now, absorption frequency of endo double bond, you can see in this structure inside double bond, is this structure also inside each and every, you can see inside double bond means endo double bond, cyclic compound decrease as internal angle decrease until it reaches to the 90 degree. You can see the frequency 1650, 1640, 1611 and 1566. So if you see the angle decreases, ang angle decreases till the angle reach to 90 degree. Till the angle reach to 90 degree, the frequencies with lower in ring size, lower in the angle, it decreases. Again, I am repeating, absorption of endo double bond frequency in cyclic compound decrease as angle decrease till 90 degree. So 90 degree where in cyclobutene, in cyclobutene, right? But frequency again increase in cyclopropane when the angle drops 60. If you see the angle if drops down then 60, you will get the frequency higher. You will get the frequency higher. So this is the trend for endo double bond, endo double bond in cyclic structure. And this type of questions may be asked in some examination or some interviews or somewhere. So you have to make very sure about that. Next, ring size effect with internal endo double bond, you can see if the ring size is same, if the ring size is same, means three member and one double bond. Three member and one double bond, which is endo, inside. Endo means inside. Okay, but if you are connecting some alkyl group, if you are connecting some alkyl group directly to the double bond containing carbon, double bond containing carbon, the frequency of double bond will change, will change. So what will be the change? 
if you have simple cyclopropene, simple cyclopropene, the frequency will be 1656 centimeter inverse. 1656 centimeter inverse. But if you increase a methyl group on one position, any of one position out of double bond, you will get the frequency higher, comparatively too much higher than the normal cyclopropene ring. Means the one alkyl group give 1788, drastic change, right? Same way if you are intro introducing a more methyl group, the frequency directly approximately increase around 90 to 100 centimeter inverse. So that is the drastic change which observed by introduction of alkyl group in the frequency of endo double bond containing cyclic rings. And this phenomena is also applied to four member rings, five member rings, six member rings, right? So this strain is in same all the rings, right? You can see the same change will happen in each and every. So I am not going in detail. I hope you may get the idea about that. Yeah. Now, the ring size effect with external means exo, outside the ring double bonds. Exo means outside the double bond. The exo double bond gives increase, increase in the absorption frequency with decrease, with decrease in the ring size. Means if you are coming right to left side in this figure, the ring size decreases, ring size decreases, but, but the frequency will increase. In exo double bond, increase in the absorption frequency with decrease in the ring size due to decrease in the force constant due to uh, decrease in the force constant. Smaller rings require the use of more P character. Smaller rings require the use of more P character than CC bond from the requisite small angles as we learnt in S character. S character we have dekha. S character increases and we will get the higher frequencies, right? So, the remove P character from double bond and S character will be more. So, the frequency will increase. So, in smaller ring, P character is utilized, S character will increase and due to that, the frequency is increasing, right? Next, inductive effects. Inductive effect means we are going to talk about the inductive effect on the specifically carbonyl frequency, carbonyl frequency on introduction of alkyl group plus inductive effect which reduce the higher frequency of carbonyl. It means again I am repeating on introduction of alkyl group plus I effect will be there and due to that the frequency will reduce. If you see the structure of formaldehyde, here it is given HCHO but you can write in this manner also. C double bond O, 1 H over here, 1 H over here. So that is formaldehyde, carbonyl is this one, right? Now both sides there are hydrogen, no methyl group. So frequency observed here is 1750, 1750. But if you take acetaldehyde, the one part will be replaced by CH3. Means this is the acetaldehyde. Here, due to the introduction of methyl group at one side, the frequency will reduce or it may get decrease and get up to 1745, 1745. But suppose if you are introducing two methyl group, means one over here and another over here also, that will give you the drastic change, the drastic decrease in your infrared frequency that will be 1715 centimeter inverse. So due to the plus I effect, 
due to the plus i effect we are getting the reduce in the ir frequencies right and the next point that is inductive effect on carbonyl by halogen atom means minus inductive effect which will increase the infrared spectroscopy frequencies to the higher values to the higher values if you take the example the acetone possess 2 ch3 at both side but if you change the one methyl group replace the methyl group by chlorine you will get acetyl chloride and the frequency observed will be converted into 171 One seven one five to one eight zero zero comparatively too much higher. Comparatively too much higher. So due to the negative inductive negative I inductive effect, the frequency will increase. Both are opposite to each other, like a coin opposite two sides. If the inductive effect is plus I effect, the frequency will decrease. If the minus if uh, I effect is there, the frequency will. increase so you have to memorize and you can solve many of example by taking different different source you can solve the example on basis of this concept the next conjugation effect now how conjugation is matching to the infrared frequency if you take carbonyl group arrange in conjugation to the aromatic ring system the frequency will be decrease so you may surprise why the frequencies are going to decrease right so due to the conjugation the carbonyl comes in the conjugation carbonyl will come in the conjugation only in case of conjugation right i am talking about the benzaldehyde here you can see carbonyl is in conjugation with the double bond of ring system right in this case the c single bond o character will increase means the bond the double bond of carbonyl may get resonated may get resonated and the, the double bond character of this carbonyl may be little bit less and the single bond character of this c single bond o may increase may increase due to the conjugation effects the due to resonance effect right and <coughs> i'm sorry so this will create what this will create what it will increase the increase the c single bond of character and due to that the double bond will get less double bond will get less effect of double bond but more effect of single bond so here the bond strength will decrease force constant will decrease so decrease in the force constant will result into the decrease in the infrared spectroscopy frequencies right so again i am repeating here the force constant will decrease due to the resonance effect and that is so why the frequencies will decrease in the structure in this structure you can see that is 2 phenyl acetaldehyde 2 phenyl acetaldehyde here the no conjugation so frequency appear as 1710 but due to the conjugation in benzaldehyde it appears at 1700 comparatively 15 cm inverse less than the this previous compound right so this is the effect of conjugation which we observed in the infrared frequency now the next point the hydrogen bonding effect on carbonyl frequency the hydrogen bonding to a carbonyl lengthen the bond length of c double bond o it lengthens means ye bond ko thoda lamba karega badhayega and lower the stretching force constant and lower the stretching force constant so if force constant is going to lower then resulting into the lower absorption frequency idhar kya hoga bond thoda lamba hoga strength kam hogi force constant kam hoga and that will result into lowering of the ir absorption frequency example agar aap dekhna chahte hain to that is intermolecular hydrogen bonding इंटर यानी कि दो इंटर यानी कि दो सपोज हमारे पास एक सिटी राजकोट है एक अहमदाबाद है सो द टू सिटीज आर डिफरेंट नाउ ए बस कमिंग टू द राजकोट टू अहमदाबाद बिटवीन बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट सिटीज आर नोन एज इंटर इंटर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बट इफ यू थिंक अबाउट अ सिटी बस व्हिच इज मूविंग इन द सेम सिटी दैट इज इंट्रा दैट इज इन 
extra. So that is the key difference between intermolecular and intramolecular. So here we are going to see about intermolecular means two different molecule of carboxylic acid. If get dimerized, the weakens of weakens of the carbonyl bond and lower stretching frequency will be observed due to the hydrogen bonding. Same way. If you are taking the example for intramolecular within the molecule, the hydrogen bond methyl salicylate lower stretching frequency by intramolecular hydrogen bonding. And you can see the example of methyl salicylate, which shows the inter intramolecular bonding and which is also decreasing the infrared frequency. Now I should make very clear, if you are taking a solution of any uh, uh, compound which possess the hydrogen bonding and if you are doing the dilution of that if you are doing the dilution of the solution with hydrogen bond if the intermolecular means inter yani ki do do alag -alag molecules ke beech mein, if the hydrogen bonding is there due to the dilution the molecules will go away from each other and the frequency will increase than the hydrogen bonding. But in case of intramolecular, in case of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, you will get never any change. You will get never any change due to the dilution factor. So dilution factor is only affecting to intramolecular hydrogen bonding while the intramolecular factor is only depending on the means no change will be observed in the frequencies in case of intra. Next, steric effect, carbonyl frequency due to the alpha substitution of conformation. See, in ketone, if you take the frequency with alpha substitution will result, will result two bands. Why? In alpha substitution, if you have something and you are getting two band, so it is five it is by for what so the due to the substitution of adjustment chlorine atom with the different conformation see in three dimension you learnt about the conformation in your stereochemistry due to the difference in the conformation <coughs> when the chlorine is next to carbonyl non bonded of electron on oxygen non-bonded electrons on the oxygen will get repelled with get repelled and resulting to a stronger bond and the frequency will be higher. So you can see the electron on the oxygen may interact repel with the chlorine and you will get higher frequency. You will get higher frequency but in case of here, it is in axial, so the frequency is comparatively lower. Next, <coughs> C single bond O and OH, stretching vibration in alcohols and phenol. So you have to memorize such thing. If you are having phenol, the C single bond O value will be always higher. If you go tertiary to primary, Tertiary to primary, the frequency will decrease. Phenol to tertiary to secondary to primary, the frequency will decrease. In case of OH stretching vibration, if you go to phenol to tertiary to secondary to primary alcohol, always the frequency will increase. Frequency will increase. So on basis of this, uh, examples may be asked to you in some exams or interviews anywhere. So you have to remember that. Now, the effects of ring size, alpha, beta, unsaturation and conjugation with the oxygen on the carbonyl vibrations in lectones. See, this type of questions are asked in competitive exam, net examination, etc. In some interviews also, in some vivas also, the experts are asking uh, questions related to that. So you should very, be very clear about that. If you have, if you have a cyclic ester, means lectones, if you have lectones, right? In this case, if the ring size, if the ring size decreases, 
if the ring size decreases the frequency will increase the frequency will increase with ring size decrease with ring size decrease the frequency will increase if you take the another part means if aap usko ulta bolenge so if ring size increase if ring size increase the frequency will decrease ring size badegi frequency down hogi ring size ghategi frequency badegi right so this is the one key factor now we have to see the another alpha beta and saturation see the structure this one possess no any double bond so no any conjugation no any conjugation so here nothing but frequency is 1735 simple frequency natural frequency now we are introducing a double bond in the alpha position you can see this carbonyl and dear first carbon is known as alpha second is known as beta right okay so here in alpha position of alpha position of carbonyl the frequency get lowered due to the conjugation effect that is 1725 right but if you give this conjugation in place of carbonyl if you put to the conjugation to the oxygen means the c single bond o if you put the uh, conjugation with oxygenation the frequency will increase the frequency will definitely increase same will be in case of five member ring also it is for six member ring it is for five member ring so you can observe same behavior will be there okay so you have to memorize you have to understand and memorize with increase in the with increase in the ring side the frequency decrease with decrease in the with decrease in the ring size frequency will increase right and if you go the conjugation to the nearby carbonyl the frequency will decrease but if you go in conjugation with oxygen c single bond o the frequency will increase right so these are the key point which you have to make very clear to get the success in your interviews competitive exams and in your career okay so these are the factors affecting infrared uh, frequencies thank you for listening me patiently and if you like this video please like subscribe and share to the other so they can also learn thank you